Hey everybody, Spoonfat here, and uh, on a suggestion of uh, Queen Kadoom, we are going to install Pentu to our hard disk. So the first thing you need to do is run uh, this command. For me, it's uh, E0, but it uh, could just as well be your wireless card or whatever. Oh no, that's true. So run uh, DHCPCD. So dynamic host control protocol and no control deem or something. Um, so we've got an IP address. Then run this one, which will uh, synchronize or update or well. You have depositories and uh, where in repo repositories that have like all the tools in it and whatnot. You can update those. You now, if you do uh, apt get update and uh, then apt get apt apt get apt get um, upgrade on an Ubuntu machine, you will like update your system or upgrade. It depends uh, on how you want to see it. And this one just syncs everything to the latest version of what is out there. So we got a, a bunch of cool tools and we successfully synchronized. Next we're gonna do emerge pen2 installer. So we wanna get the pen2 installer that's in there. And last emerge sync was uh a long time ago, but that's, that's okay. Also, for anybody who has not heard yet, um, Team Poison successfully phone bombed uh, the MI6 counterterrorism line, and they made a big mistake. But they're like young, and they're um, well, they're in their teens, so they want to prove that they've got the skills. And the mistake they made was that trick from Team Poison literally said his name and everything, and it's so stupid to do that. Uh, but I'm guessing they wanted credit or something, uh, you know, some pride issue. I don't know. Um, so we've done, we've got the pen to installer. So now we run it, pen to installer. It will say, well, you can do it um, like uh, from here. We'll do step by step. Uh, you can also do the lengthy way around, and God knows what else you can do. Uh, I can make a video of that one uh, sometime too, because that's really into the Linux skills and everything. You do everything in the command line. So, but it's no different than this one. Um, I'll do local. Uh, let's say eight and then uh, four. It's find me. Yep, yep. Okay, hard drive. We can do auto prepare or manually partition. I'll just do auto. It's far easier. So I have thirty-two um, megabits uh, on uh, for boot. It's fine with me. Uh, the swap space, I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Gonna make that like so. Then 7500 for my uh, root partition, and then home will be the rest. Oh, I want to have a little bit more leeway on this one. Uh, so, since I have 19 left, I will give three more to this one. So, I will do it like so. So, I have like 10 gigs. Um, my root partition and then uh, 16 gigs. So, uh, so that's by four, yeah, that's 14 gigs of uh, home and like 12 gigs on my uh, root partition. Oh, now it's six gigs. Oh, that's weird. But that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go with X3 because I've noticed that X4 doesn't really quite work well with um, 
tend to uh, give me some errors. So, but it could be that I'm in a virtual machine, of course. But X3 is just it always works. Uh, you should be sure. Yes. So, uh, oh, um, it's probably important to tell you, but I am on Pen2 2012. So I'm not running the 2009 version, but I'm running the 2012 version, which you could probably see in the title because I'm going to put it in there. So this step takes the longest. It literally takes like 30 minutes to 45 minutes to do this. So yeah, keep that in mind when you're doing this. So copy distribution takes a long time. You, you can do something else, watch a South Park episode or something because this takes forever. Um, it will not show you what is in progress. It says there control alt f8. Don't do that. Just press alt f8 and you can see everything going on here. So you can leave it on this one or you can leave it on uh, the other one. Whatever you prefer to see. If you want to see progress going on like oh it's still running then yeah keep this one on. Otherwise press alt f1 and you'll be back on this screen and you won't have any noise. I'm gonna pause the video here and I'll meet you back when uh, when this is done copying. Alright, so we're done copying our distribution, so we're gonna configure the system. Well, there's not much to configure actually, but new nano, uh, you can configure your key map, your, your mount points, but I wouldn't mess with that right now because everything's set up correctly actually. Uh, your DNS servers, that in that you could change some things, maybe you have an open DNS running or whatever. Uh, network host is the same. Um, if you are in a uh, network that um, you want to have like names for other machines, like it's easier to remember uh, network server enter than uh, I don't know an IP address and then slash God knows what else. Um, the glibc that's the li G library for C locals. I wouldn't mess with that either. But this one you can do, and that one you can do. You can change the root password so you know what it is and it's done and you could add new users so you can log in as somebody else which I'm not gonna do I'm gonna install the bootloader we're gonna install just grub because that's fine we're not gonna ride around bootloaders alright so here you have the configuration file which is fine actually uh, it usually detects everything like quite well and does everything as it's supposed to so normally you would see a uh, title gen2 linux you see there i don't know if i can do that mouse yeah so here you have title gen2 linux that's all crossed out because you don't want to boot that one you don't want to boot that one what do you want to boot well you want to boot pen2 so here you see the kernel that's need to boot uh, the root is on that the real root is on sda3 which is your boot partition um, video, just console, uh, read only, um, your init is in here, your file system, and then if you want to boot Windows, that's here, but I don't have Windows, and you see the chain loader, whatever. Just hit Control X, because it's fine, and you want to install it on your top level of your, um, like, what, what do you call it? Um, but yeah, device, it's SCSI disk, but uh, your hard drive, you know, you have, you have got a load of partitions on your hard drive, but you want to install it on like the root of that, so the top level, and that's SDA, and uh, no, I don't have software RAID, I don't have like multiple hard disks that need to be booted, so, so I didn't know. Well, installed successfully. Well, that's fine. I'm gonna ex exit installer and shut down R now. So, I'm gonna reboot. We'll just wait. And there we are. I'm gonna boot pen to. Take a, a, a small while to load and log in as our newly created root. 
So now we run the same command we did just before. You can actually set it up in your startup so you don't have to run this every time. But sometimes you want to do stuff without linking to network. So yeah, we're gonna run it. This will probably look weird because I had to set up the uh, recording area differently. So let me just fix it right now. So righty then. So and here we are. We booted um, Pen2, 2012, mind you. We've installed that to the hard disk. So how uh, can I show you that? Oh, I'm sure you probably like this. So um, is it desktop? Can it go up? No. All right, that's always problem if you do that you need to do it like so and you can go up and down I would install a different file manager I must say but so here we are here we have everything that we need actually and here are all the applications that are on here so uh, there's not much else to say other than that this still is a very cool cool distro for pen testing uh, I will go through this one as well I think about for tools and whatnot because this is a different um, order of tools has different tools and it's just fun to do this so, sort of stuff Exploits Bass Track. Bass Track is actually pretty cool to use. Um, what else do we have? Geolocations. Awesome. So, um, Quinker Doom, I hope this helps you out and other people as well, of course. But he uh, asked me to do this video and. Uh, I hope it all works. Uh, it worked for me, so uh, probably work will work in like 90% of the cases because if it works in VMware, then you have a big chance of succeeding on your own in uh, in, in like a physical environment. So uh, I would suggest to just try it, and now everybody can have Pen2 on their hard disks.